Okay, in this video, uh, we will try to solve the prob probability of an event. The formula in finding the probability of an event is P of E is equal to the number of favorable outcomes all over the number of all possible outcomes. So I have here two examples na i-solve natin and then later on kapag medyo kaya pa is magada ko ng isa pa. So let's start solving this one. So again, the probability of an event is equal to the number of favorable outcomes all over the number of all possible outcomes. That is our formula. So let's start solving for the first example. In our first example, what is the probability of getting a heart from a deck of cards? So let's analyze first this given problem. Wait muna, kuha lang ng pen. Para mapagsulat tayo. So, in this problem, it is important for us to know first anong event yung meron sa ating problem. The event here is for us to um, get the probability of heart. So, P of heart. This is our event. So, ang ganda na sulat ko. In our formula, Number of favorable outcomes all over the number of possible outcomes. So, try natin. Kapag tayo ay mayroong isang deck of cards, um, wala yung ating joker, yung bilang ng ating cards is equal to 52 pieces. So, paano naging 52 yun? Una, there are 13 characters sa isang deck of cards. From aces hanggang kings. At bawat, kar bawat character doon ay mayroong tig-aapat ng piraso yun ay sa ace, mayroon tayong apat na aces, mayroon tayong clubs, mayroon tayong diamond, mayroon tayong spade, at mayroon tayong heart. So, ibig sabihin, there are 13 characters times 4. The, uh, there are four, 52 number of cards, isang standard, of, standard card of deck. So, now, that 52 will serve as the number of all possible outcomes. Bakit? Itong 52 na to, ito yung uh, mga posibing mabunot natin kapag tayo ay nagtry na bumunot ng isang baraha. Nakuha po ba ako? Now, how about the number of all favorable outcomes? Ang since ang event natin is makakuha tayo ng heart or makabunot tayo ng isang heart from a deck of cards, ibig sabihin, ang paboro sa atin is yung makakuha tayo ng heart. Now, isipin natin, um, ilang hearts ba meron sa 52 pieces of cards na yan? From aces, from ace hanggang king, lahat ng character na yan ay merong tigisang heart. So, there are 13 characters, meaning, there are 13 hearts. The number of all favorable outcomes is equal to 13. Now, to simplify this fraction, 13 all, all over 52 is equal to 1 all over 4. This one is the answer. So, I hope na nanitid na yung first example natin. Let's go with the next one. Next one natin. There are 20 marbles in a container. 4 are red, 5 are blue, and 11 are yellow. What is the probability that the blue marble will be picked? So, it is, al uh, it is, al it is already declared that meron tayong 20 marbles sa container. So, meaning, in this problem, okay, akin pen, our event is to get the probability of getting a blue marble. Okay, bear with me. Ang hirap ang sulit eh. So, since there are 20 marbles in a container, that will serve as our denominator or the number of all possible outcomes. And then, how about the number of all favorable outcomes? Since target natin makuha, or ang event natin is makakuha ng kulay blue marble out of that container, meaning, there are five favorable outcomes. And then, I know that you are well versed in simplifying fractions. Simplifying 5 all over 20 is equal to 1 all over 4. And that's it. This is the answer. Okay? So, let's start. Let's proceed with the third example. Example number three. 
A number cube is rolled. What is the probability of rolling an odd number? So now, in this problem, um, our experiment is tayo ay mag-roll ng isang cube. And then, ang isang cube ay meron siyang 6 faces. So again, what is the probability of rolling an odd number? So let's start solving this one. So our event, uh, nasan yung aking pen? Our event here is getting an odd number. Odd number, odd number. So, meron tayong 6 faces. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong 6 na numbers. So, that will serve as the number of all possible outcomes. How about the number of all favorable outcomes? Let's have a recall first. So, the numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Out of the 6 numbers, ilan ba yung mga classify natin bilang odd numbers? The odd numbers are 1, 3, 5. Meaning, the number of all favorable outcomes is equal to 3. That is our fraction. And then to simplify this fraction, 3 all over 6 is also equal to 1 half. And in this problem, the probability of getting an odd number is equal to 1 half. I hope na makatulong sa inyo to, sa inyo pag-review. God bless.